So, um, you know, what I like to do apart from studio, I don't know. Yeah, rock steady music. That's what it is. Um, well, I've I've had the pleasure of working with a little bit of everybody. Like I've been in the studio with with a lot of people from Akon to Nas to um, Pimp C, Killer Mike, Keisha Cole, Trey Song. Um, you know, just to, just to mention a few. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, also, also of course, do some work with Candy. You know, writer, no scrubs, and all that stuff. Grammy award winner. So you know, I'm just I, I just try to absorb as much as possible when, whenever I'm around them. You know, because it's always a pleasure. Um, I mean, it, it's it's about seeping through the hype and you know dealing with the real. You know, a lot of people get caught up in the hype, and the hype doesn't it doesn't take you nowhere. You know, it's like you 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 could work with a million people, but that don't mean nothing. Just just a few bad moves, and you're out of the business. I'm telling you. you. So it's it's about staying real and 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 staying focused on the goal. You know, the goal is not about talking about it or being pompous about it. It's about gaining the work, and you know, it's the talent. It says to him, to him that much is given, much is required. So um, that's all it is. It's about you know staying focused and knocking it out. Mixtape already out. Yep, coming to America the mixtape. Wow. Yep. Man, I'm gonna say it again, like I said it earlier before he got here. I want y'all to go to Google, and I want y'all to type in Selassie the African Kid coming to America, and I want y'all to see how many pages are going to pop up with this mix CD. I'm telling you, it went international before it went local, man. Y'all don't even understand the movement that's happening right now, for real. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been honored to have a lot of love. Like, I get a lot of love from my African people. You know, the whole, like, I'm from I'm from Ghana, and my mom is half Nigerian. I lived in Malawi, been to, it's like I've been, I'm a, I'm a product of Africa. So I have a lot of support from my African people. So it's like, um, I mean, that's another blessing, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was a source of inspiration because I liked the movie. That was the whole point about it. Um, what was your favorite course, part? The royal something is clean. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can say it. Um, but that, to me, that was all, like, like, like dude, they even got to take a shower. Like, he's, he's that's pimping. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I I like I like the whole concept, and to me it was what, why I I chose to use that. And as in as much as it was a movie, I was amazed at how many people love that movie. Think not not just love it, but actually think it's real. Like oh, you from Africa? So is it is it like what what country is the moon? Though? Like there's no <laughs> country called the moon. Though. It was made. <laughs> this up. is just made up, you know. <laughs> You know, I believed it. <laughs> <laughs> and even after this show is over, she's still gonna believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just it, it was it was definitely an inspiration. Of course, if you if you if you go to iTunes or, or go to djbooth.net and, and and look at it, even the artwork still it's a it's a spoof of the original artwork of uh Coming to America. Coming to America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And what I want to do after the interview, I want us, I want all of us in the studio to do like a freestyle. So you can all right. Are we doing the freestyle this week? I thought we was doing it next right. week. Yeah, I got no. my, I got what I'm gonna say. Lola needs to prepare. All right, all right. That's what it is. Oh. oh. Are we gonna do it on that? All right. Oh lord. I'm ready. All right. So mm. 